This is Liberty Under Attack Radio, hosted by Shane and Matt. Your place for documented truth and where freedom is the only agenda. We must end the terror war. Broadcasting live from Antapistan, deep in the heart of Somalia, you're listening to Liberty Under Attack Radio on the Freedom Phalanx Radio Network. I'm your host, Shane, and I'm joined by my co-hosts, Matt, Stan, and Danny. Uh, We'll hear from them in just one moment. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com forward slash liberty under attack. Again, that's audibletrial.com forward slash liberty under attack, and I'll put that in the chat in just a moment. Uh, Audiobooks you could get for free include Human Action and Socialism by Ludwig von Mises. Those are two different books, as well as Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. Even better, we get a small cut for every person that signs up. No stipulations. Uh, Just sign up, get a free audiobook, and help support what we're doing. It's probably the easiest way you can do so. Before I move forward, I uh, need you to do something for me. Open up a new tab in your browser and whatever device you're using. Go to libertyunderattack.com forward slash subscribe and type your email address in there. You know you don't want to miss a single post, and this is a way to ensure that, well, you don't. It also gives us a way to stay in contact if Fascist Book does what it does best, and uh, I think that kind of goes without saying. So welcome to uh, Liberty Under Attack Radio. Today is the 18th of October 2015, and we are certainly happy to have you with us uh, this evening. I apologize for last week's uh, show cancellation, but something came up that I had to deal with. We're in the process of rescheduling Katie Testa, so keep a lookout for that sometime uh, in the near future, uh, probably in uh, November. So quite a bit of stuff uh, went up on the LUA site in the past couple of weeks. Probably the most important is the political field trip tutorial done by Kyle Reardon from the Last Bastille blog. Also available are all six of the reports from his various field trips. I uh, added a new edition of Adventures in Illinois Higher Education and the five-part series to uh, the five-part, uh, I guess, edition uh, to the Full Spectrum Dominance series um, is also up with the articles and spoken discourses, and that will be covered uh, next month on LUA Radio, so if you want to get a head start, um, then you can definitely do so. So, Matt, Stan, Danny, thank you for uh, joining me this evening. Uh, how are you guys doing? Pretty good. Yeah, pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing good. Good to hear. Good to hear. So, Danny, I think uh, LUA is covered by uh, some sort of a license. Uh, would you mind letting the listeners know what that is? Well, Liberty Under Attack is covered under a BitCot no government license. This allows reuse by anyone except for government or its agents. Learn more at bitcot.org. That is correct. That is correct. BitCot no government license. So, uh, gentlemen, any updates uh, for the listeners or any topics for discussion uh, before we move forward? Yes. I have an upcoming article titled Factions of Terror, Syria's War Spoils. It will momentarily be uploaded on our website. Okay, and Danny, Stan, any, uh, any, uh, anything for you guys? No, just more... Uh of me trolling uh, Facebook, so <laughs> look forward to that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's always that's always entertaining. It's always entertaining. Uh, but Danny, there was there was one thing uh, that it was we're a couple of weeks a couple of weeks behind on this now. But uh, uh, you went on a camping trip. I think it was for it was called Anarchy Island, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, why don't you tell the listeners a little about that? Well, I guess it was my first time going. Um, Scott Banfield, uh, who. He, I guess he patrols or cleans the waters of this uh, kind of elaborate, or not elaborate, but a, kind of a rich, well-to-do area. They have a central island located, and they granted the community, the community granted him access to use the island. So every year, I guess for the last three years, he's been um, inviting fellow ANCAPs and libertarians and so forth uh, to visit the island. We basically just kind of hang out, talk, uh, drink, eat, and, and generally try and spread more, uh, I guess, anarchism, if you will. <laughs> good deal, good deal. Yeah, and I wish I would have had a chance to make it up there for that. Uh, I want to go to a lot more of these, uh, a lot more of those festivals, because uh, they are a fantastic time. So, Stan, anything on your end, brother? 
Uh, not a whole lot new. Um, working on a few articles. Uh, last night, I, or the night before, me and uh, Kyle, and I believe you were on that call too, going over a possible uh, article on what you should carry every day. Kind of oh, yeah. Yeah. Put, compiling a list of uh, items that you should have with you uh, when you leave, preferably your front door. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the the everyday carry stuff. Yeah, I think that's uh, mm -hmm. uh, definitely looking forward to uh, to that article. And that was, that was definitely mm -hmm. fun to talk about. I like talking about uh, preparatory stuff like that. Oh yeah, that's yeah. all the sexy stuff, you know. You're, <laughs> what was it? It was always like a spider co knife. Everyone had pictures of. You know, got to show off that spider co. Nothing against them. It's just it was like, damn, everyone has a spider co. I'm completely out of style with my Leatherman. I mean, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I do remember that that coming up. Yeah. 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 Okay, awesome. Awesome. Well, we're definitely looking forward to that. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and, and move forward. Uh, I actually do have some good news support on, on my end. Uh, a lady from Indiana found the Cancel Your Voter Registration page and actually decided to cancel hers. Uh, she also said that she would write an article on her experiences and send it to us. Uh, what she did, which uh, that is available at libertyunderattack.com. I was going to read it, uh, but since it is available there and we uh, do, uh, we probably will go over this broadcast too like we do every single one, so I figure I'll just let you guys do that on your own time. So uh, I'm definitely glad we're able to help uh, get her out of the state, at least in uh, regards to uh, to voting. And uh, I also got word that two other listeners are going to be doing it from Indiana, which is uh, truly, truly fantastic news. Um, and uh, on, on that note, I'd like to give a shout out to one of our listeners, Jason. Uh, Jason is pushing out these solutions we have provided to uh, his friends and family, and he's having great success. He's got, uh, um, there's going to be three from his area that are going to cancel the voter registration, and uh, um, he's even going to go on some political field trips. So uh, definitely a big shout out to Jason uh, for pushing out the solutions. Um, so please emulate his example and uh, push out the cancel your voter registration page, uh, the Freedom Umbrella of Direct Action as well as uh, the political field trips, which, like I mentioned, that's in the tutorial that Kyle Reardon just completed this week. So uh, the number to call is 218-895-3818 or on Skype at FPRN Radio Live. Uh, got a question for our guest? Feel free to give us a call and let us know what is on your mind. Also, LUA Radio is now on TuneIn Radio, Stitcher, and iTunes, so please go like, follow, subscribe, and leave us a positive review on iTunes. Uh, that will help us get this true message of freedom into uh, more, people's, more, more people's ears all over the world. So we received another update this week from our favorite politician, Barney Sandler's. I wore my shirt especially for here. It's a vote for Bernie's, a vote for Breadlines. So uh, we're going to go ahead and hear from our favorite politician, Barney Sandler's. Uh, producer, please cue up clip one. Life is like a dank meme here in D.C. Got myself a rare pay, pay the dankest. Why did you do this, Dolan? My Pepe's have been stolen. What to do? Stay calm and in hell, thank me. Woo! Every day I'm out here making dank me. Woo! Always making good and never stank me. Woo! Not spooky memes or spicy memes. No dank memes. Woo! And thank you, Barney Sandler's. Truly, truly fantastic. A uh, great vision for America. Um, so, Matt, Stan, Danny, what do you, what do you think? Dank memes and PayPay's 2016? Absolutely. Uh, yep. More I'm dank gonna, memes. I'm still going to have to say I can't uh, can't vote for this guy, but all right. Well, well, this is – we're not talking about Bernie, Bernie, Bernie Sanders here. This is Bernie Sandler's. Ah, uh, okay. It's, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like voting for uh, – um, what's that one – it's like voting for D's nuts. Like you can't actually vote for him because he doesn't exist. <laughs> then fine, go ahead. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's uh, uh, move forward. So this back past week, I was talking with a, a colleague about how most of those in the patriot community, as well as your average neocon, have prioritized hatred and fear mongering over the goal of restoring liberty. Uh, they're falling for the propaganda hook, line, and sinker. 
during the same conversation, I, I came to a realization, and it wasn't one that I enjoyed coming to. I assure you it was not one that I, I liked coming to. But, uh, producer, please queue up image one if you could. And uh, for those not viewing on the live stream, available at fprnradio.com forward slash listen dash live, the image is of Hillary Clinton, and the text reads as follows. American Patriots for Hillary Clinton 20 scene. This war hawk promises to kill them muzzies. You know, we live in strange times when American patriot rhetoric overlaps with Hillary Clinton's policies. So for the next hour or so, we intend on dispelling some of the myths. Uh, quite, uh, um, I, I apologize. Uh, we intend on dispelling some of the myths in regards to Islam, as well as determining if Islam is compatible with libertarianism. And thankfully, we'll be joined by uh, Will Coley, the National Director of Muslims for Liberty, to help us gain a better understanding of the subject. So one more thing before I move forward. Uh, we have had quite a bit of hatred directed at us for even broaching or seeing the subject of Islam. And anyone who has witnessed the chat in the previous months is, is well aware of that. Uh, we will take your calls. We'd be more than happy to, and I know we'll be happy to answer any questions. But at least, at least show, show some respect. Um, we're here to have an inform informative, uh, informative intellectual discussion. And uh, if you aren't capable of doing that, uh, don't bother calling in. So without further ado, uh, Mr. Will Coley, welcome to Liberty Under Attack Radio. It's uh, truly a pleasure to be speaking with you. Thank you. Thank you. So, same here. Yeah, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing rather well, actually. It's been a pretty good week. Uh, we had a really, really productive week uh, weekend last week, and uh, we've uh, done uh, an event where we uh, confronted Dr. Ben Carson. Uh, I've got an opportunity to, to confront uh, Dr. Alan West tomorrow evening, so I'm doing pretty good. It's been a fairly good week, and it looks to continue to be a good week. <laughs> All right, awesome, awesome, good deal. So <laughs> on that note, um, um, so why don't you tell the listeners a little about yourself, uh, your background, and uh, what you're doing with uh, Muslims for Liberty? Okay, well, uh, I've been studying religion for collectively probably 25 years of my life. Uh, I started out as a youth Sunday school teacher uh, in a small Southern Baptist church where I was actually teaching adult the adult classes, uh, the, sun the adult Sunday school classes when I was 10, 11, 12 years old. Uh, then graduated up to, uh, we uh, became Pentecostal, and then I started working in tent revivals and things such as that. And the conflict between the Baptist and Pentecostal factions of my family uh, fascinated me and set me on a journey of uh, studying theology as kind of a latent obsession, so to speak, a uh, guilty pleasure. And uh, when I was about 25, I started studying Islam. Well, 20, well 24, about 24 years old, I started studying Islam. And then uh, three years later, I, uh, I converted to Islam and was encouraged by the, uh, some of the men in, in the community uh, to start studying Islam academically. And so I spent the next five years uh, studying uh, Islam at an academic level, uh, Islamic jurisprudence as well as uh, Islamic history. And uh, through a, one, first with some scholars here in the U.S. and then through a WebCT program that I was selected for uh, where basically the government of Qatar uh, sponsored uh, my Islamic jurisprudence training through a program that was paid for and uh, hosted by their government. Um, I graduated from that in 2013. Uh, since then I've studied with a number of uh, well-known scholars. I studied Tafsir with Musa Mink. I studied uh, Maliki jurisprudence with Hassan Lisheb. Um, so I um, spent quite a bit of my life studying this topic in particular. And uh, I've spent about four years lecturing at universities and events around the country now uh, on Islamic jurisprudence and Islamic history. Okay, awesome, awesome. Yeah, you've definitely you've definitely been studying this for uh, for quite a long time. So um, I guess uh, um, so. You kind of covered how you how you came to Islam. Uh, what brought you to uh, libertarianism, and uh, and how did uh, the two kind of merge, so to speak? 